Hi everyone, Tori here today with another 100 Days of Less Hustle, More Jesus devotional for Illustrated Faith. Um, today I'm going to be working on day five. So if you were here for my other videos, I've already done day one, two, three, and four, and today I'm working on day five, which I guess is just be you. So I'm going to spend some time by myself reading this, and uh, when I get back, we'll do the page together. Okay, so I love this. I love this one. It's all about, like, finding out who God has created you to be and, like, being that so that you can share him with other people. And I kind of feel like... Making YouTube videos about creative things and talking about my faith is like one of those things. Um, going to Africa to do child safety is one of those things. So if you want to learn more about that, you can head over to my blog. I'll leave a link below. So anyways, I have this page and I had all my washi tape out on my desk. Um, because I was going through it to decide which ones I wanted to get rid of. As you can see, I got rid of some, but not enough. <laughs> it was piled up more than this. So I was thinking, because I had that washi tape out on my desk, that it might be nice to use it on my page today. Because, like, let's be honest, we all fail to use our washi tape as much as we probably should. Well, I mean, most of us do, because we have so much of it. It just doesn't get used. And I love using up a roll of washi tape. It makes me super excited. So I was thinking for today, I could create a page where I use like a bunch of different strips of washi tape and, um, and kind of layer them on top of each other and then put my message or whatever on top of that. So that's the plan. Now I could just use like all the washi tapes, that would be fine, but I kind of want to go with ones that are similar to these color tones here. So. I'm just gonna pull out some that I think might work. And um, honestly, you could go with anything. You could just mix them all, but, <clears throat> sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice. I kinda wanna go with ones that I feel like will look really good with the colors that are already in this page. Um, but again, go with what makes you happy. I'm trying to put them so you guys can see them, but I'm just gonna go through here and pick some out that I feel like will work well. And then we'll go to laying it down. I'm gonna throw some black and whites in there because I feel like they add a nice like contrast. And then I'm going with some of the pinks and I think the golds can mimic some of the goldish yellow paint here. Um, and there's lots of this gorgeous mint and turquoise color so I want to add a lot of that oh that'll work well too okay I'm gonna start with those ones and um, I'm, I'm gonna repeat some of them and what I'm thinking I'll do is just kind of tear it and stick it down and then layer another one on top of it if I can find the beginning of this one this is a brand new roll <laughs> so I'm not sure where all of these washi tapes come from but I do know that um, this one comes from Felicity Jane. And I would suspect that the majority of the other ones um, come from Freckled Fawn. Because that's pretty much where I get most of my embellishments and things like washi tapes and stuff. I'll leave a link for what I can find below. And I'm just keeping the edges like rough. I'm not trying to make them um, go a certain way or anything. I'm just gonna keep them a little rough. And you could, you could cut them if you wanted them to be neat and tidy, but I don't really want that. And the other thing is you can also, to add a little variety to it, you can take a piece of washi tape like so and tear it in half, like lengthwise to give it a more interesting like edge. And you can definitely use both pieces. Okay. 
like I said, I'm going to just layer it all up. Um, so I'm not trying to make a certain pattern, although a pattern would be nice too, and you could definitely do that. Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you about what I was thinking while I was reading over um, this passage. There's this verse here that Shanna shares. When I consider your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have put in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? And like, I love that verse. It's like, what are we, like, who are we that you would love us and feel that way about us? Like, what have we done to deserve that? And I think the point is that we haven't done anything to deserve that. Like, we don't deserve to be loved by God. Um, which, if you don't have faith, you probably are like, what are you talking about? But the truth is, like, we make a lot of mistakes. We screw a lot of things up. Just look at the, like, mankind and, like, the world, the state that it's in. Like, every single person sins and does wrong things, lies or steals or does something like even the best people do bad things but yet he still loves us and he still sent Jesus to die for us which is mind-boggling to me sometimes most of the time so I don't know that's kind of what I was going with for today I just felt like what is who are we that you are mindful of us that you love us that you made us that you created us and have a special plan for our lives like psh. and sometimes we might wonder like well what is God's plan for us because I don't know what it is and like it's okay not to know it all the time like sometimes we'll never know and he reveals it to us later like I think when we get to heaven he'll be like hey you know how you were doing this one thing with your life like let me tell you how that played into the bigger picture of this world and helping other people. And sometimes we do know, like he shows us what he's doing. For example, like with me going to Africa and the position that I'm gonna be in and feeling like this is exactly the right place that I'm supposed to be. Like, I'm like, wow, like God created me for this and trained me and brought me here. I'm like, what am I? Like, that, to think that God would think about me like that. I think I decided not to use that one because, um, well, it's got this backing on it, which I find really annoying. I don't know if I'm the only person who finds washi tapes with backing on them, like a complete waste. Like why does it need this backing on there? It's just a waste of paper. I feel like I need some more of this like floral reddish color. This washi tape is one of my favorites. I think it comes from Felicity Jane, I wanna say. And the reason that it's one of my favorites is because it's just like a white, on white if that makes sense like it's got white stripes and the reason it's one of my favorite is you can layer it on top of like two or three washi tapes and it just adds like the subtlest little detail it's super pretty or if you've done mixed media it works really well on top of there too because you can see the mixed media through it but it gives the subtlest little bit of something something like I love the way that washi tape looks when you layer it on top of each other am I the only person probably not so I didn't discover that I just like it and just a little piece here some more of this gold polka dot just bring some of that gold into a different place but I'm thinking I don't want that there I want this here and then I want a little piece of it up here oh I like that pattern I use that one here 
I like the idea of some of the patterns repeating like two times, some of them repeating three times, whichever. It looks really good. And you could even add a few pieces over here just to kind of tie the two pages together. Most of my um, designs have been on uh, the one side of paper, but it can't hurt. And I've got the washi tape out anyway, so just add a little bit here, maybe a little bit up here. Just to kind of tie it all together. And I feel like there needs to be black in one more place, like maybe over here. Kind of creates a visual triangle. Okay, there you go. For the washi tapes that I want to use. Now what I want to find is like some kind of label or sticker or something that I can put over this area here to put what I want to say for today. So I have some die cuts here that were just on my desk from yesterday. One of these might work. I specifically want to find one that I could write a little message on. Like that one, I could write a message here, here. Or that tag. Note. Ooh, that one's really pretty with that. Covers up the design a little bit. Ooh, look at that little birdie there. Okay, that's kind of cute. Like sitting on that ledge there. I think that's gonna happen. I think they're all too busy for what I'm looking for. I have some labels and tags right next to my desk here. Maybe I can find one. I just want something small. Like that could be cute, like a little label and then if I put a piece of washi tape over it. to kind of make it feel like it fits in. And that one. Okay, I like this one. It's a little piece, I think from Felicity Jane. And it's actually a sticker. So I'm gonna just pop it down there like that. And then I feel like it just needs a little something to make it feel like it's tied in a little bit. So. I'll grab one of my washi tapes here, probably this one which I just covered. Just ties it in a little bit, but now that's kind of repeating there. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, well the good thing about washi tape is you can peel it back up. So if you don't like something, peel it up. Put it somewhere else on your page. Put something else there. I'm thinking I might use this white striped one because then you'll still be able to see the tag underneath, but it'll just look a little more layered. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. A lot, lot better. And then I'm gonna glue down my little bird. not going to add a ton of adhesive to him because I kind of like the way that he
pops up above the page a little bit. So I'm just gonna add adhesive to the bottom half of him. And that means that the top half won't be glued down, but we'll just kind of flip up a little bit. But he'll be glued down enough to stick to the page. And you can see the glue actually makes it pop up even more. I'm just gonna put a little thing on there just while it dries. Just gonna hold it down. Because it's, um, what do you call this, vellum? It wants to pop up. Okay, so I'm just gonna write a little message right on this tag here for today. There we go. So I just wrote, thank you Lord for being mindful of me and having a plan for my life. So I'm gonna let that little bird dry a little longer, but I just wanna take that off so you guys can see the finished page. So I've got the bird, the washi tape, and the message, and I love the way that it worked out. It looks so cute. I did smudge my um, date up here. The other days I've been drying it before I could possibly smudge it. Um, so just a reminder if you're using Memento Tuxedo ink to let it dry or heat set it. Anyways, there you go. June 5th. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all subscribe to my channel um, so that you can catch other videos that I make um, if you're not already subscribed or leave me a comment below and let me know um, if you use up your washi tape because <laughs> I'm just interested to know if, if you use it up or if you kind of just hoard it like me because I said everybody hoards it but I don't know there could be somebody out there who uses it up anyways leave me a comment and don't forget to check out my other pages I will have a playlist on my channel for those thanks for joining me bye